There are some really dumb philosophies out there. I, I saw one the other day that calls itself ethilism. This is literally a philosophy whose core tenet is that human life is bad and needs to be wiped off the face of the planet. This is a philosophy held by humans. <laughs> the, the person who brought this nugget of wisdom to my attention became somehow offended when I admittedly, purposely, mispronounced the name of this philosophy as elfism and expressed surprise that it was such a downer, what with all the North Pole and the elves and whatnot. Well, you know, you, you just can't please some people. Another good one, anarcho-communism, with anarchy meaning a complete absence of laws and government, and communism meaning a stifling abundance of laws and government. There's no conflict there. But my favorite one at the moment is a philosophy that likes to call itself libertarian socialism, with liberty, of course, meaning a high degree of freedom, and socialism, of course, meaning a high degree of imprisonment and control. We have the French to thank for this gem of critical thinking, as it seems to have sprung up out of the French Revolution and, and the French motto, liberty, equality, fraternity, with fraternity, in essence, meaning community. Liberty, equality, community. If you could string together three more conflicting social objectives, I'm not sure how you could do it. Actually, I, I do. You could define the French motto as something like this. People should be free to think and act as they please as long as they don't physically harm or steal from another person. We should all strive to judge our fellow humans, not by their physical appearance, but by the content of their character. If we have no peace, it is because we have forgotten that we are all brothers and sisters. These ideals can absolutely exist in a free society. The bedrock of freedom that underlies everything, everything good about being human. The idea that all men are created equal under God, under God, not under Stalin. And that equality means the right to try, but not the right to succeed. That the extent to which we refuse to recognize our inherent bonds to our fellow humans diminishes us as individuals and as a species. I find it very ironic that the American motto, in God we trust, which sounds, well, very unseparated from church and state, uh, produced a society that is so much more free. Words can be tricky things. What really matters is what you mean by them. When a libertarian speaks of liberty, they are talking about uh, liberty. When a libertarian socialist speaks of liberty, they're talking about the freedom to suppress freedom. That, that, that is literally what they mean. Now check out this brief but accurate summary. Libertarian socialism rejects the concept of a state. It asserts that a society based on freedom and justice can only be achieved with the abolition of authoritarian institutions that control specific means of production and subordinate the majority to an owning class or a political and economic elite. You know you're dealing with an incoherent philosophy when it can be defeated by one word. How? How are you going to abolish organizations established through voluntary contracts while simultaneously prioritizing freedom? Oh, easy, say the libertarian socialists, by using the state to imprison the participants in these contracts. Now, some of them don't actually call it a state, but a state, by any other name, is still a state. Here's another good one. Libertarian socialism has not traditionally been a utopian movement tending to avoid dense theoretical analysis or prediction of what a future society would or should look like. Gee, I wonder why. I wonder why it's important not to analyze this philosophy. And I wonder why it's important to have no idea what the resulting society would look like. Most of us have heard of the term cognitive dissonance, which means, in essence, holding two conflicting views at the same time. This term has become, in my opinion, overused in this age of seemingly arbitrary political attacks. But if you look up the term cognitive dissonance, you could pretty much cover its true meaning simply by presenting a picture of a modern day libertarian socialist. It's not a pretty picture, but it's an accurate one.